it's, it's traumatizing to think, you know, I could have died there easily. About a month ago, Justin Crawford was pulling out of the new Lowe's in Pauley's Island when he says he was hit. Since then, we've seen two more wrecks at the same intersection. Justin and his mom Nancy say the removal of a long-standing median is to blame. Drivers on Tyson Drive used to be able to turn left onto Ocean Highway by pulling into a median and then merging into traffic. But after the new lows went up, that median became a turn lane for cars in the opposite direction, creating a dangerous situation. I refuse to go down that road from now on. I, I haven't even considered going on the road ever since. So we reached out to SCDOT to get them some answers. After more than a month of working towards a solution, traffic engineer Mike Bethay says the department plans to put up a traffic light. We looked at the, you know, several different um, possible solutions um, in the area and decided that um, the, probably the best solution, the most safest solution is the, to put a traffic signal at that intersection. That's what the Crawfords have been asking for, and they're relieved a safe solution is on the way. It makes me, you know, happy to think that no one else has to go through that now, and, and you know, it's, it's not going to have to ever happen again, and we're all, we can feel a lot more safe.